So my name is Kobe Koo, and this is my individual growth. Um, as background, I've been an intern here for a little bit over a year. So I've been working here last summer virtually, and then um, the two semesters during the school year. Um, and I definitely say the most growth and the most things I've done have come from this past summer. So we'll get into it here. Um, I did a lot with different design and different um, softwares. So here, I really worked on SolidWorks a lot, um, making complex assemblies, taking actual parts from the master car, learning how to kind of arrange them in SolidWorks to make a good design, um, and as well as design to manufacturing. So creating drawings with the appropriate uh, callouts and dimensions. Um, and also parametric design, so designing um, with sketches and different parameters. So I know this design for the toe point was changed probably three times, and it made it really easy um, having those parameters around. Um, another big thing was welding. So I learned welding for the first time. It was MIG welding. Um, and what I realized with most things is probably 80 or 90% of everything is just working on the work holding uh, and the setup. So as long as I had a precise work holding setup, um, the welds turned out really nice and um, lined up 90 degree angles really evenly. Um, and it also made me kind of think about how I'm designing for welds. So as you can see in some pictures, um, I kind of had to, I got to experience how difficult some of the welds were with placement or um, if things were in the way. Um, I did a lot with fusion and CNC milling. So previously I spent a lot of time on the five axis maker, which is the image on the right. Um, and this summer I used the big CNC Supra three axis CNC, which is on the left. Um, and as you can see, they're doing both the same cuts of ellipses in aluminum. Um, and the five axis maker took around, I want to say 30 minutes for each um, ellipse cut. Whereas the three axis CNC on the left, it was much more rigid and could cut way faster. And it was around 20 minutes for 10 ellipses. So a lot faster. Um, I really got to understand the different machines. And three axis milling, it was my first time using the, the Bridgeport three axis manual mill. Um, and it was really intriguing just to see how precise you could get with all the tools that you can use. I was getting within around five thousandths of what I'd planned for. So it was also really rewarding to see my designs actually become real and really accurate. And also I did a lot of work with uh, Rhino and editing holes. So Jason taught us a lot about um, how to take existing holes um, and preserving the curvature, the nice smooth lines, um, you know, using planes, points, different curves, intersections, and then editing those points and curves to make um, your own hole with the same nice curvatures. Uh, another thing that was really nice was uh, learning knowledge transfer. So at the beginning of the semester, I did um, a tutorial with Fusion and using the five axis maker. And it was pretty rewarding seeing that my previous work at this internship um, was becoming useful for other interns and all the documentation I did. Um, and it also really challenges your own understanding of the material to be able to teach other people. So I also worked on some educational videos for CPERCH, educational handouts for CPERCH. Um, how to write technical reports is really important. And um, it's also really nice to do some name outreach so I know Seaperch involves a lot of high schoolers that 
maybe don't know about name or don't have exposure to all this engineering. So it was really nice to be able to do that. Um, and also the team environment at the MHL was really nice. We had a lot of group hands-on activities, um, working on time management with multiple teams. So I was working with different teams, different people and different projects. At one point, I think I was working on five projects at once, but you know, it was really nice. I was building some confidence in, you know, getting progress on each project at once. Um, one of the projects involves project management. So I was kind of the lead and I was, I had to work on uh, work delegation um, and also organizing meetings. Um, and also it was a pretty relaxed environment. Everyone was really welcoming and encouraging. Um, yeah, and that's all Any questions. Would you say your experience with Boeing has uh, changed how you plan to, uh, you know, work as a naval architect designing ship hulls or components for ship hulls for production in shipyards? Yeah. So the question was, um, was my experience with welding, did it kind of influence how I'm thinking about working at, if I were to work at a shipyard where people are designing ship holes and putting them together? So I'd say definitely yes. Um, you know, welding, I didn't really know anything about welding. I knew it was just like joining metal pieces, but it really, it's really real once you actually do it and learn like, you got to aim your arm this way, or if you kind of design it wrong, you'll have to be in an awkward position, maybe even upside down. Um, but having that empathy with whoever's welding and what you're designing is really important. Would you say you're perhaps more inclined to work at the shipyard now, or is that after the welding experience something you don't want? Yeah. Not so much that you'd be welding, but just in general working at a shipyard with people. Yeah, the question was, would I would it influence my decision to work at a shipyard or not? Um, I'd say I'd, I'd be more uh, likely to work at, an in, at a shipyard now, I think, because I, I kind of like that idea where there's all the manufacturing here and the design um, all in one place. Um, and also working in the, like cleaning the physical model base and doing some manual labor, like having that all in one place is kind of rewarding to be able to see everything. And the last question is, what is your, uh, what was your favorite project when you started? Um, I'd say there's a lot, whatever, whenever I got like a final product that I could see and be proud of, those are my favorite. Um, so like, for example, whatever I, um, what I welded, so it was the cart. Um, I was just amazed like how precise you could get with just setting up your work holding, measuring everything. Um, but yeah, it was really rewarding seeing the, the actual cart, being able to push it around.